Good morning, YouTube. Still is morning. So I just got done hitting an Alameda um, with uh, the De Marini Cali Gold, um, their new 2024 bat. And I did say a few things on the videos. And yesterday when I did a, a round off the tee, actually two rounds off the tee, I also spoke a little bit on it. And, um, but I don't think I did justice to the bat. Um, so I figured that I would go ahead and make a sit down one. So this is the bat. D Marini, Cali Gold. Um, mine's a 26.5. Um, I misspoke before. It's not an end load. It's a mid load. So, um, I'm usually only dealing with the end load, but a mid load makes sense because it covers everybody. Because whether you're a home run hitter or whether you're just a gap hitter or occasional home run hitter, um, it's just your swing path. So if you have a mid load, there is more weight out on the barrel, and all you have to do is change your swing a little bit, and you can hit a home run, or you know you swing level and hard ass line drives. So um, I swung it this morning and I didn't get a count of exactly how many balls I hit. I only hit one round because um, I want to come back and, and uh, load these videos and also uh, uh, make this one. Um, I swung it and I let uh, a buddy of mine, Freddie Chu, uh, he swung it. He plays with uh, cheap suits. He's a 40 major player. And uh, swings really hard, hits the ball really hard, hits the ball really hard, far. So I want to get a perspective from a 40-year-old and a guy that can hit the ball harder and farther than I can. Um, and he plays a little different than I do. So I want to get a perspective of how he would hit also. So he was impressed with the bat too. And uh, you'll see when the vid videos are uploaded um, how well he hit with it. And all we hit were um, 52 core balls, um, the spinners that are waterproof, the, uh, what are they, lime green and yellow. Yeah, lime green and yellow. And then I hit the uh, 52s, which are blue and yellow. And then um, they have, Baden has a new ball out um, that's a BP ball for seniors. And it's all yellow with um, where the stitching should be. It's it's red, but there's no stitches on it. And um, those are specifically made for senior bats and BP. And uh, Freddie hit a few of those. I didn't hit those. I just hit the spinners and the 52s. And off the 52s and the spinners, I mean, it just, wow. They're not even senior balls. It's not even game balls. And it's hitting phenomenal. Um, it's got a 13-inch barrel. Um, which I really like over a 12-inch barrel. I mean, more hitting area. Why wouldn't you want that? And not only that, but the uh, the sweet spot is really large. I mean, I was hitting stuff down in here, even on inside pitches, that was coming off the bat just as hot as in the center of the barrel. Hit a few off the end that weren't that good, but they went pretty far. So that tells me that the, the barrel is pretty good. So I'm going to go hit it tomorrow in Danville and then that'll probably be it then I'll put it away because I think it's game ready so I'll go hit some balls in Danville tomorrow um, if we hit on the front field then that fence is like 310 or 315 in left field so that'll get a good judge of how far the balls are going and how hard they're going and everything like that and um, also if there's a guy there he has a compression machine and then I'm gonna have him uh, do the barrel and um, and test the compression on the barrel. So the bat is phenomenal. You, everybody knows that knows me. Um, I don't like two pieces. I it's not that I don't like them. It's just I, I'm not very accurate with them because I swing hard and they tend to flex a lot. And I'll either pop the ball up and 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 drive it into the ground. But when I do connect with it, yeah. It, freaking goes and it's hard and everything like that but um you're looking for more of an average you know three for four four for four four for five five for five in that range not one for four or, or two for three so 
the thing that I noticed about this, if it does flex, it doesn't flex that much because I swung the same on a lot of pitches and I was getting the same results. So that means the swing path is exactly the same. It's not going, it's not flexed, so it's not going up or down uh, during the swing. A lot of companies will tell you, our bats don't flex. But if you're swinging the same way and you're either popping the ball up or, or, or rolling over on the ball and then the next one, you know, uh, it, it's just, it's up or down then, and you're swinging the same. That's why I do the videos, check my feet, check my, my angle, my swing and everything to check if I'm swinging the same. And if I'm swinging the same and it's just not doing that, all it takes, you know, is just missing by this much and you're either popping the ball up or, or you're ground, you're, 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 uh, pounding the ball on the ground. So it makes a big difference if the bat doesn't flex for me. Uh, older players like two-piece because their bat speed is uh, is not as much and and the bat will last forever because they don't swing as hard. Um, so the reason why I tried this bat is I have a guy that plays with me, uh, Donnie McKay. And he kept asking me, he asked me like three or four times, he says, oh, you can go ahead. He had one. And he says, yeah, go ahead and swing it. Go ahead and swing it. And I'm like, I'm like, man, dude, I, I just don't like two-piece, you know, because it just flex too much and it's going to irritate me when I'm, you know, popping up to the infield or pounding the ball on the ground when I know that I swing good on the ball. And he says, just swing it. So last Tuesday, um, he says, hey, that bat's right there, so it was sitting right there by the plate, and I said, whatever. I said, I'll, I'll swing it a couple of swings. So I swung it three swings. Uh, hard line drives the first two, and then the last one I tried lifting a little bit, and, I mean, it was a hard line drive, and it went over 300 feet. And uh, his, his is more broken than mine. Mine was brand new. It just got here last Thursday, so I've only had two T rounds, and me and Freddie put some hits on it. So it, it's probably got a little, I, I'm going to go back and, and look at both the videos and count how many times we hit, but it's probably maybe at around a hundred or a little bit more swings right now. Um, and the bat's phenomenal. I mean, I, I can't say enough about the bat. The bat is phenomenal. I, I, the only two piece I've ever been able to swing that was, uh, that was stiffer and didn't flex a lot was the first Jason Kendrick that Mike, Mike and brought out. that was like a baby blue and um, like a lime green. That was the only one. I, and I had two of those and I swung them until they broke and you couldn't get them anymore. And uh, after that, I, I swung a buddies of mine, uh, one of those uh, diamonds, the, the sun coast and the thing flexed way. Once you connect with it. Yeah. Good Lord. Thing goes, but just like any bat, but it just flexed too much, and I was just, you know, all over the place with it. And I, I don't like that. I like to be consistent. So that's one thing I got from this thing. It was consistent. And, I mean, good Lord, I mean, it just smashed. It, it just explodes off this bat. I can't, I can't say enough about it. It just explodes off this thing. Um, I think I looked online, and they were running for, like, 240, I think, 239. Um I don't know if all sites are running the same as far as the price go. I think I looked on the demerating website and it was two thirty nine. But um, if you're spending one hundred and seventy nine, two hundred dollars on a bat, but it's not that good, then what's another forty dollars on a bat that you know that's going to be really good? So I'm glad that uh, you know that I got the bat and I'm glad I got the swing it because it, it is phenomenal. Um, first of all, I know I said this on the first T video, but I want to thank uh, Jerry Garnett, JG, for uh, sending me the, the bat. Um, after I took those three swings, um, I texted him and said, uh, I took three swings with that Cali Gold, and I said, that thing is really good. And I said, I'd, I'd like to try it. So then he sent me one, and this is the bat that he sent me. And uh, it was a 26.5, just like uh, just like Donnie's bat. And uh, wow, it's 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 phenomenal. Uh, second guy is the Cali Gold guy. That's uh, LP Larry Price. Um, I've known Larry for it was before 2016. That was the first year we went to I went to Black Worlds with him. Um, so I. 
I knew him from the field. He hated me right to begin with. I'm going to be honest. He hated me. A lot of guys do because I kind of play edgy. But Larry didn't get my humor right away. I, I even insulted one of his jerseys one, one time, and, and he hated me for that. But it was just a joke because some people don't get my dry humor. But anyways, me and Larry are really cool now. And um, I remember him texting me um, um, to go play Black Worlds with him in Columbus, Georgia. And we ended up winning in back-to-back uh, -back in 2016, 2017. And uh, uh, we're pretty good friends. I consider Larry a really good friend. So uh, he's a great guy, and I'm glad I'm glad this bat worked for him. Um, because uh, it's got his name on it too. Not only Dean Marini's, but you know he has some skin in the game too. Because because the Cali Golden name is on there, and I'm really glad it worked for him. And it's a phenomenal bat. And um, if you're thinking about getting a bat, and you know you only like one piece, but you you know you can't swing a two piece, this might be the game changer for you. Because like I said, it, it swings more or less like a one piece. It's got a, maybe a little bit of flex in it, but not that much. And if I'm not complaining about it, it's not bad because, like I said, I'm really not a two-piece guy. Um, but I'm glad the bat worked for Larry. And um, and I, I didn't swing last year's model, the 2023. And uh, it was funny because he finally told me it's about time you swing it. And, you know, I've been fighting it because, like I said, it's a two-piece. It's not a one-piece. Um, but great bat. Um, if you're thinking about getting a new bat, Try this one. Trust me. It's really good. Uh, it's got like a satin paint finish on it. And um, if you cut the ball or you hit it square, it knuckles all over. It, it, when Freddie was uh, cutting the ball, and even when I cut the ball a couple times, it knuckled really bad too. And usually um, when you cut it, it just goes like, you know, back spins and goes up. But even when he was cutting them and they were low, it was even knuckling really bad. So I think it has something to do with his paint on here. And it's, like I said, it's satin, but it, I don't know, it's not sticky, but it's almost like it's super thick, like it's a rubber almost like on it. It's really, really cool paint job. But uh, it's different from down here on the handle where the handle is just like, this has got some kind of, I don't know, like grip or something on it. I'm not sure what it is. But it really grips the ball. So if you cut the ball too, it's not going to be like the Dudley Barrel where it's kind of tacky. But this one does grip the ball and it and it does, you know, cut the ball so you can spin it up. So um, great bat. Can't say enough about it. Uh, thanks again to JG for sending to me and uh, for uh, Larry Price for having such a great bat. So... Uh, Thanks for listening and hope you guys go out and get one because it's a good bat. Not a good bat, but a great bat. Thanks for listening.